And it no longer is gender specific to men because there's women in our country that have come back wearing the stars of battle. It's not only specific to the United States of America, but there's people in this room that have fought for their countries. There's military veterans here from Canada, the United Kingdom, and Germany today. And I think we owe all of them a big round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, can we honor our military veterans? Now, what I'm, the point of doing this today isn't just to be patriotic isn't just to honor someone's former service because there's people of all walks of life that have been dedicated, have been loyal, trustworthy, clean, brave, reverent, all the good things in life, in all walks of life. But the point of doing this today is to awaken the network marketing industry to the fact that there's a place for the military veterans in our industry, specifically in this company. One of the things I remember going through my head 22 years ago when I was leaving the military and heading into my network marketing career was, do I have the right skills? Do I have the right training? Because they didn't teach people skills, and they certainly didn't teach me the vocabulary necessary to do this job in the military. I remember the first network marketing meeting I was a speaker at, and the guy came up to me, my coach at the time, and said, you know, next time maybe if you can get through without the shits and the dams. And I said, dude, you have no idea how proud I am that I didn't drop an F-bomb. <laughs> 22 years later, what I figured out was the skills I learned in the military, the leadership skills, the communication skills, the, the ability to work with other people, that if I could convince a group of guys to, that were making 400 bucks a month to run up a charging hill with bullets and grenades and bombs going off coming at us, that I could certainly get people motivated about making a six or seven figure year income. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there's a home in Visalis for the military veterans. Welcome them to our company. Let's take a look at what six and seven figure income earners we have. All I want from you guys and gals is your rank and the branch you served in. Your rank and the branch you served in. We gotta go quick. 
Sergeant David Wilson, United States Marine Corps. Specialist Sid Taylor, uh, Army. Sergeant Anthony Lucero, U.S. Air Force. Sergeant Robert Lewis, U.S. Air Force. Command Sergeant Major, 82nd Airborne Division. Sergeant G.J. Reynolds. Kim Shepard. <laughs> Kim Shepard, Spec 4, Army. Staff Sergeant Latoya Andrews, U.S. Army. Staff Sergeant Massey, 18th Airborne. Ah, Corporal Rick Soom, U.S. Navy, and E-4, U.S. Army. Two yeah. Yeah. Corporal Mike Brando, United States Marine Corps. Yeah. Hospital Corpsman, 3rd Class, United States Navy, Kevin Sergeant. Yeah. Chief Warrant Officer Jeff Sanborn, United States Marine Corps, retired. Sergeant First Class De La Cruz, United States Army Recruiting Command. Staff Sergeant Michael Dobson, United States Air Force. B-5, e U.S. Navy. Special Group 4 Andrew Wetzel, 194th Armored Brigade. Staff Sergeant Guerra, Fort Sword, Georgia. Dogface Soldier, who? Captain Ortiz, Fort Hood, Texas, 238 Cav, U.S. Army, who? And Fort Tyler Howard, USAF. And the first class, Mount Baldwin. Lieutenant Colonel Tom McCoy, uh, U.S. Air Force. Captain Sergeant David Souther, U.S. Air Force, retired. Senior Airman Scott Fellaini, U.S. Air Force. Stephen Gilchrist, E-4, Airborne. Sergeant First Class Matt Carter, United States Army. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the military in Vice Allen.